Wait. There's still a way to change this. If we return to an earlier point in time, we'll be able to save her. I understand. Silver! I can handle this myself. Besides, you've got somewhere to go, right? You! I'll make sure to change Elisa's fate. And that, in turn, should change your future, too. Thank you, Silver. Yeah, just save her. I know how to save our world now. We don't have to change the past. I'm sure of it. So you have a plan? Well then let's hurry. I sense his flames. All right, so welcome back to Sonic 06. We are in Silver's final level. However, this is not the final video of Silver's playthrough. We got one more. This is Crisis Core, or yeah, I think it's called Crisis Core, right? Something, something Core, Flame Core, it's called. So those you have to be really quick to get on top of. They they kind of let you breeze through the level a little bit quicker. Um. I was trying to cheese it here. I thought maybe I could get to the top, but no dice. And I got hit trying to use the ground pound yet again. Just don't even bother. I was trying to run by these enemies. This is a fine level. I think this is probably one of the stronger levels for Silver. Usually levels where you can show off... Um, you know, there are no, obviously, levels built for sh like silver specifically they all feel like levels built for sonic or S or shadow that silver just happens to play through but this one it's a fine one you know there's not a whole ton of like platforming that's too difficult for him there's not a ton of enemies i mean there are obviously we're seeing them but there's not an outrageous amount and the level doesn't go on too long. It's still fairly long. It's like 10 minutes, but... Compared to Kingdom Valley, which is like 12, and the level itself is just so boring, I would much rather this. This music's good. The, the level's more varied. I would much rather this. And this is a fitting final level. You know, again, it's like halfway through Sonic's story, but it's Silver's last level. I will say, I, I feel like... I, did I say this already? That I think this game does a good job of... Um, making you feel like the levels aren't the same. Like, Sonic Adventure 1, there are a lot of levels where it's just like, okay, this is just... I've done this level three times already now. Whereas in this game, it's like, yeah, I've been here already, but... Silver and Shadow control differently from Sonic to the point where it's not really like, oh, I'm here again. I'm kind of like, oh, I'm here again. Let's see how this level is different as Silver. 
you know, to give this game some kind of credit, it does feel good to come back to these levels and experiment with, okay, so what can I do as silver to get through this level? Again, you gotta be quick to get those, and I am not quick, so not gonna happen. Uh, I would like to talk about the way that this game is uh, structured. I love games that are like this where you have to play through, you know, Sonic story and then Silver story and then um, Shadow story and then you unlock the final story. I enjoy games that are set up that way probably because Sonic Adventure was like such a formative game for me that I've always loved that style of game. You know, um, this game does it, Sonic Adventure 2 does it, uh, Sonic Heroes is probably the worst example of that, and Shadow the Hedgehog. You know, those you have to go through too much to get the final story of that one, and all the levels are exactly the same. Again, speaking of making it feel different, Sonic Adventure, or Sonic Heroes, all those levels are exactly the same. Just maybe slightly more enemies with one character. But, like, Yakuza 4 and 5 have that same structure, where you play through multiple characters and then they all converge at, at the end. Resident Evil 6 is another game like that, where you play through three characters and then you unlock Ada's story, which is kind of the finale. Um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep is another one. You play through as Terra, Aqua, and Ventus, and then you unlock the final story. You know, I, I think that's great. I, I love that style of game. I don't know what you would call that. But I always have a soft spot for these types of games, so... Uh, honestly, I think Birth by Sleep might be one of the best examples of that. Because in this game, you fight a couple of the same bosses, you know, multiple times as different characters. Sonic Adventure, you know, you fight Chaos, the, that, like, shark version of Chaos, as three different characters, even though only one really makes sense. In Birth by Sleep, there are no shared boss battles unless it makes sense for the story. There's one I can think of that all three fight, but all three are fighting them at the same time. So it's not like, you know, oh, this doesn't make sense, why is Terra fighting this guy when I fought him as Aqua too? No, they're all fighting him at the same time. I think that game does it the best. Uh, you know, a lot of the characters in that game go through different areas. Like, areas that other characters don't see, even though it's technically the same world. I think that game is probably the best example of that, like, being done right. That I can, uh, really think of. Obviously, I'll always have a soft spot for... Sonic Adventure, but that, that game does not technically do it well. Just due to what I said of, you know, certain characters fight the same bosses at, at supposedly the exact same times, you know, in, you know, throughout different stories. Oh yeah, this was dumb. I didn't like what happened here at all. I was really hoping to be able to get all across there. The last video and this one are both great examples of me just barely not being able to, like, skip ahead areas. So that wants me to go back. Screw that. I'm not going that way. Or am I? Yeah, I think I kind of have to go up that way. But yeah, this is one of the least painful ways through flame core. I, I would maybe say I, I quite enjoy this part. The one thing that you do in both of the other characters' stories through flame core, you know, you do it with Sonic and you do it with Shadow, is you get into the inside part of the volcano and you have to light the orbs in order to get through. You do not have to do that with, with Silver, thankfully. You know, as Sonic, you have to play through as Knuckles, who I think is one of the worst controlling characters in the game. So thankfully, you do not have to deal with that. It would have been cool if you got to play as Blaze here, in a section, but you do not. 
we won't be hearing very much from Blaze. Yeah, now again, you could light the orbs, but they just, in this section, allow you to see where you're going, as opposed to the Sonic and Shadow level, where you have to do them in order to progress through the level. They're more a recommendation here than an actual, like, requirement. What did that do? Oh, this is- I think I just went in a circle. I think that's where I came in. I thought I was, like, beating the game. And now here I was- I was trying to see, do I have to hit those? But no, you do not. What am I doing? I think I'm just going back. Because there's a couple doors in this area. If that wasn't the one that I entered from, I'm trying to find the other one now. Which is probably just this one. What am I doing? Why am I fighting these guys? What am I doing? Excuse me, folks. I don't know why. Oh, I just didn't see the door. That's literally what happened. I literally just walked by that door and did not see it. Also, if you can hear snoring, it's my sweet little baby boy. He is, he's doing a bit of a snooze right now. He's also laying his head on my computer, so hopefully he doesn't, uh, you know, click, you know, stop recording or something. Yeah, maybe I, I would have cut down on the platforming sections. Like, one of these was enough. I don't think you needed two of these. Because it just makes the level go on slightly too long. out of here. Both of you. Well, it's a good thing that that last guy you didn't have to fight, apparently. That was weird. Jesus, man. Why does that keep happening? Again, half the time you just get attacked when you do that. It is not a reliable move in the slightest. Yeah, maybe send Blaze through this part would have been fine. You know, she takes down enemies quickly and she's faster than Silver. So that maybe would have made this a little bit more palatable to play. Okay, let's move on. Who are you talking to, Silver? Who am I talking to? Yeah, you can tell the uh, the developers of this like, how do we make this difficult for his last level? Just throw tons of enemies and just don't stop. Just spawn as many enemies as you can without making the game slow down. What's that? You said, spawn as many enemies as we can and make the game slow down? I'm on it. So this is the last little bit of this level here. I think this is supposed to be Iblis or I don't know what this is. But it's a giant flaming like, meteor that we need to wait until it shoots off that little ring there. And then we can move forward and go to the next area. This reminds me of a level in Captain Toad, because you do almost this exact same thing in that game. It's like the same arena, you're like inside of a volcano. You have to hide behind um, cover to not get hit by the um, the enemy. That's a fun level. I miss that game. When are they gonna make Captain Toad 2? God. I'd buy that up in a heartbeat. Love that dang game. Come on, shoot your gosh dang thing. Uh, if you get hit by that, I think it knocks you out of the air, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's happened to me before. But it's, it's not very fun. It's at least gonna take your health away. You know, your rings. So, it's not good to get hit by it. Even if it doesn't hit you out of the air, which I, again, think it does. So, we are rapidly approaching the end of, like, regular gameplay as Silver. 
The only thing he has left is a boss battle. Ow. Yes, yeah, so that definitely interrupts whatever you're doing. Hopefully, I don't get hit here and have to redo this. So this I'm never sure what I'm supposed to be doing. If I'm supposed to be holding it down, or if it just goes on its own, or if I'm supposed to keep holding it, I'm really unsure. Just as I expected. What did you expect, Silver? I don't understand. You have to elaborate. You expected that to be so easy to destroy? What? You expected there to be a, uh, a hole down here? That you can go through? Like, I don't... What did, what did you expect, Silver? Please explain. Now all I have to do is take him down. Take him down. So let's see. That was basically the entire video was that level. What is the rank going to be? If it's not a B, that shows just how broken Silver is. It's an A. Yeah, that's unacceptable. But uh, join me next time when we finish Silver's story finally.